Well, how's it going? So listen, uh, this video is going to be about, um, you know, a situation you all have when you're talking to a seller, okay? You're excited, you know, and you find out, you find out they're motivated. Yeah, they want to sell, move to Miami, move, you know, Cincinnati, whatever, pay for Joey's Bible College, something, right? And, but, you know, and you're all excited about it. You're motivated, but they want too much of the house. Have you experienced that? If you, if you have not experienced what I just told you, you, you're not talking to very many sellers because most of them are in the, the, this is the reality, right? Yeah, they, they want to sell, but they don't, they don't want too much, right? So what do you do about a situation like that, okay? A lot of people try and say, well, I need to be a better negotiator. And and yeah, you, 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 you need to be. Okay, so let's address that. Be a better negotiator, certainly. Be a problem solver. But if it doesn't work, what do you do? Okay, so number one, you know, you, you, you want to know their why. People sell homes based on emotion, right? And so, you know, George's wife has died of COVID, cancer, so many kids or grandkids are in Miami. Okay, if you can help George to get to Miami, you probably have a good shot of getting a house deal. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, he wants, you know, say 300 for it, and you got to be at like around 200 to make it work, right? So what do you do? Okay, well, the number one, again, it's based on emotion. George, you know, why am I here today? Why did I come all the way downtown to come talk to you? We're trying to help you. You're lonely. You're here by yourself. You missed your daughter, Julie, and the grandkids trying to get you to Miami. That's what we're trying to do. So you're not lonely, right, George? I tell you what, George, you know, you signed this contract right here. You could be on the, you know, on the plane to Miami by Tuesday. How would that make you feel? You know, imagine for a moment, George, you're on the beach in Miami, smelling the salt sea air, sipping that tangy Mai Tai, holding your daughter's hand, seeing your grandkids, you know, playing in the surf, and you hear them laughing. You're home with family, George, you're home. And what did we just do? We painted a picture, right? Emotional picture of him. You think George is thinking about that? Being on the beach with his family and not being alone? Of course he is. Every night, he wakes up all night thinking about it, right? George, you sign this contract, you could do that, right? That that's gonna help you. And you know, well, gee, George, I, I know you want three hundred. You told me that ten times already, but gosh, I mean, man, you got a green bathtub and a pink sink, and there's mold in the attic. George, we both know I can't give you that kind of money for that. I mean, why am I here? I'm here. Help me help you, George. You know, get good at saying that. Help me help you. Help me get you down to where you're looking to, you know, to go. Help me help me get you to Miami so you're not lonely anymore. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's going to help you when you're negotiating. Very important, all right? Yeah, oftentimes, people, that are really motivated. They'll see the light. Yeah, I mean, dude, you signed this contract. You could be in there, right? Um, I, You know, that's the money in this whole thing. No, but here, here's here's the thing. The reality is we both know this. And if you don't know this, you're going to know it right now, okay? Some people are just in no position to take a huge discount on their property. They just aren't, okay? They don't either don't want to. Maybe they owe too much. Maybe they need too much. Whatever it is. So then what? What do you what do you do then? The whole like, hey, sign here and you be on the Miami by Tuesday on the beach sipping a Mai Tai. That won't work, right? They owe too much. They need what? So what do you do? Do you, do you, do you give up? Gosh, those stupid sellers, man. It's want too much for the house. It sucks. A lot of people do that. And that is not the way to go. You've got to be a real estate professional and figure out what the problem is. Once you know the problem. Then solve it creatively. You know, maybe you could do a, a sub, you know, you could do a creative finance deal. George, your house is worth three hundred thousand bucks, man. What if I give you four, three fifty, fifty grand above retail? That's not something you'd be interested in doing, is it? You know, well, really, yeah. You don't have to worry about any maintenance. You get a check every single month, and you'd be on the plane to Miami by Tuesday. You know, you find a C buyer with ten percent down. <laughs> That's thirty thousand dollars you made. Imagine for a moment yourself. You know, you close on one of these deals here in a couple of weeks after watching this video, and you got thirty grand in a month. You know, in your business account. How would that make you feel, right? Did you solve the seller's problem? Yeah, you did. You, you solved the buyer's problem too, because plenty of buyers want to move in today and they can't get a loan, but they've got cash down, right? So you make money that way. The other option is is uh you know, look at the zoning. What's the zone for? How big's a lot? You know, even if it's not a town home or, you know, kind of thing, or a condo, it's on, on some land. I'm not talking about acres or big, huge lots, just as long as it's on some land. What's the zone for? Potentially, you could split the lot, right? Depending, depending. I actually have a mind map, but I've been through this on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down here below. You can just scroll through that. 
if you look at these kinds of questions, whenever you're talking to a seller, if buy low, sell high, typical wholesale deal won't work, then try some other options, right? And, and I'm telling you, be creative. The more creative you can be, the more problems you can solve for sellers and buyers, what money you can make. Okay, so if you need help with this, you want some clarification, let me know. Uh, you know, below, send me a message or whatever. We'll get on a Zoom call and we'll walk you through it and potentially do some joint venture together. So Godspeed, and we'll see you on the next video. Be creative. That's the money, okay?